Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I would do a quick video for you today on making a teaspoon. Um, now, you've seen me make a lot of spoons before. This is something slightly different, um, certainly due to its size, but also more to the method of making it. Um, and what I wanted to show you was just a quick way of making something like this with just a single knife. No spoon knives, um, no saws, no axes, etc. Um, and if I just give you a quick close up here, hopefully that's going to focus. Um, and it's just, you know, it's a, pl a plain and simple spoon. I haven't sanded it yet. This was just one I made the other day. Um, and yeah, so what I think I'll do, um, actually before I do that, there we go. So this is what we're going to be making it out of. This is a uh, very small branch. I've got the other half here. And that's basically what I started with. Um, and I've just split that in half with my knife. Um, I didn't use this one, I'll be honest, I used one of my bigger ones, um, but this is more just a proof of concept. Um, and basically, I'm gonna be carving out the bowl with my little Mora um, basic. I'm really liking this knife at the moment. Um, and I just thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Um, so what I'll do, let me move the camera just a bit closer in and we'll make a start. Right then guys, so the first thing I want to do is put in the spoon bowl. Um, and actually this is a little bit easier. It's not obviously not quite the, the nicest of spoon bowls. You know, it's not quite as detailed or as deep as others that you've seen me make, um, but it will suffice. Um, and what I'm gonna do is going from the sort of the top of the rounded part of this half branch, I'm just gonna start putting in a few little cuts. And what you'll see is that as I'm going along, it's starting to put a little indentation in. Now don't worry about this far end, which looks a little bit untidy. We'll come back to that in a second. And basically what you're looking to do is using this nice rounded section here for your bowl. Now, we've got this far, um, and I'm starting to snag up a little bit in the center, which is to be expected. And what I'm gonna do is just cut back on myself ever so slightly, you know, nice and gentle. Don't wanna be doing too much pressure here. And you know, with a knife like this, it's certainly sharp enough just to take off some really, really small, fine shavings like this. And then I can come back on the other side and just tidy it up. Um, now that's probably okay for a little teaspoon, you know, if I'm gonna be using it for stirring um, or maybe for kind of just taking spoon out of a, uh, a spoon, sugar out of a sugar bowl. Um, and you know, I can tidy this up a little bit if necessary. I'm gonna sand it uh, once it's dried anyway. I mean, fortunately this is still green, this piece of wood. Um, so what I'll do, let me just move the camera around a second and I'll show you where we move on to next. Right, so it is now just a case of refining this down into your desired spoon shape. Now, the question being, would this be easier with a little ax and maybe a saw? Absolutely, but can it be done with just a knife? Yep, just as easy, well, maybe not just as easily, but certainly relatively easily. Um, and what I think I'll do is I'm gonna speed through this footage for you, because um, it really is just me carving this down. Um, and it will get relatively repetitive. Um, but, you know, nice piece of green wood, carves, as you can see, really, really nicely and easily. And I'll probably spend five or six minutes just carving this down so you can see what it is I'm talking about.
So there you go guys, five minutes or so's worth of work and we've got what is pretty much a passable and working spoon. Right then guys, so it was a little bit of a last minute decision really. I decided to leave the bark on this one um, just to give it a bit of contrast, look a little bit different. Um, but here are my two little spoons. Um, you know, they'll be fine for taking sugar out of a sugar bowl. They'll be fine for stirring your coffee. Um, you know, a little bit untidy at the moment and you can really spend as much or as little time with, the, with these as you like. Um, you know, I actually, at the moment, I'm favouring this one. You know, once you've um, sanded and oiled this, I mean, you don't even have to sand it if you don't want to. Um, you know, the bark will be fine, you know, as long as you're not using anything that's poisonous. Um, and there aren't that many barks out there that are. Um, this will be fine to put in hot liquids like tea and coffee. Um, and really, you know, I quite like these little things. I use them around the house. Um, they're really, really nice, quick, simple and easy gifts for people. Um, I actually made a few of these just before Christmas because there were a couple of people I'd entirely forgotten about. Um, and, you know, we'd bought them normal presents, but, you know, I quite like giving little gifts like this. It's just something a little bit personal, that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, you know, once this has dried out, I'll be sanding this, giving it a quick coating of oil, and it will be good to go. Um, and just one other point I wanted to make is that, you know, although this is not the prettiest looking of spoons, you can scale this up. What you can do is you can take a larger brush branch um, or kind of like a small either half or probably quarter section of a log uh, maybe even more maybe an eighth of a log something like that um, and you can do a very similar result um, basically all it means is that you know if you've only got a knife um, you know I'm thinking of maybe something like a mora or something like that you know a mora clipper a reasonable size bushcraft knife you can take a log of sort of this kind of diameter you can split it down by battening um, get as far as kind of that half round or quarter round as, as you you saw earlier um, and then you can use the top rounded part with the bark still on or, or if you want to take it off um, to create a spoon bowl similar to, similar to this um, you know and the bigger spoons will be fine for eating with um, you know all that kind of thing even cooking spoons you could make this way if you don't have an axe or a saw um, so that was it guys hope it was useful comments and questions in the box below hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time Cheers, guys.